What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing LeBron James from Space Jam 2. Let's begin in the center of our page and draw an oval for the nose. Now we're gonna leave a gap along the top. So we're gonna start on the left side. Let's curve the nose going around. Round up the bottom. Pull that up and in on the right. And from here, we're gonna add the folds around the cheek. Let's start back on the left side. Curve this out, down, and then in. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's draw the mouth in between that fold. We're going to start over on the left side. Start with the curve going up. I'm just going to bend that down and then in on the right side. Let's draw the bottom edge of the upper lip, starting back on the left. Curve across, just aiming towards the right side. We're going to stop right about there. Add a small half circle and then continue that curve over towards the right. Let's go back to the left side of that half circle, curve this out and then down, curve out and up, and it'll fill that center area in black. Now we're going to draw in the lower lip, starting back on the left side, curve the lip coming in and then down, round out the bottom of the lip, go up and in on the right side. And then we'll tuck that goatee underneath the lip, starting on the left, and down, and then up. Fill that area in black. Now we're going to move back up and draw the bottom edge of the eyes. From the left side of the nose, we're going to step up, draw a curve, going up, and then out. Go over towards the right side, step up, and do the same thing. Now we can draw a large oval for the eye in behind the cheek. Let's start from the inside, come in, go up towards the top, and round up the eye, come down, and then back in. Now on the right side, we're not going to go all the way. We're going to go up and in about halfway, and curve the brow going up and out. Let's draw the outside of the right eye. We're going to step back, curve around, and then in. Now I'm going to push the pupils towards the inside of the eyes. Starting on the left, let's start with an oval. And then we'll line this up on the right. And we'll fill the pupils in black. Now the right brow is going to curl in along the inside. So we curve this in and pull that up. Go back down to the bottom. Let's thicken up the brow. Going up and then down and then we'll fill the brow in black. Let's curl the left brow on top of the eye. Start from the outside, go up, and then bend that down. I'm gonna thicken this up. Going back to the outside, go up a little bit higher in the middle, and then back down. Let's fill the inside of the eyebrow. Now that we've drawn the face, let's move out and draw the outside of the cheeks. From the left side, we're going to step over, curve the cheek going out, and round this out, come down and in towards the bottom of the chin. I'm going to go all the way over towards the right side, curve the cheek going out, and then we'll pull that in, bend this down towards the bottom of the chin, and we'll connect these two points with a curve, coming down and up. Let's add in the beard. Starting over on the left side, curve this down, and then in towards the middle, curve this out and up on the right. Now we're gonna move up and draw the side of the head. On the left side, let's step out, go straight up. I'm just gonna bend that in towards the top of the head. And we'll tuck the right side of the head underneath the brow. Stepping out, curve in and then up. And then we'll add a fold, going up and in. Let's line this up along the top of the brow, curve this up and in towards the same height. And it'll connect the ends with a curve, going up the middle and then back down. Let's go out to the side and add the ears. On top of the cheek, we're going to curve the ear going up, come down, and then back in towards the side of the cheek. Do the same thing on the right. Starting on the top, curve this up, down, and then in. 
We're also going to add those folds inside the ear. From the top, we'll step down, flip up and out on either side. And then from the end, we'll step in, come down and in with a short curve. Now we're going to draw the inside edge of the hairline. Starting on top of the cheek, go straight up. And just bend that into right about there. Curve across towards the right, leaving a gap on the outside. And we'll just tuck this out and then down on top of the brow. Now the last thing we want to do to the head is add a fold along the top. Starting right in the middle, curve this down and out. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We're going to start on the left side, curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. Go to the right and do the same thing, coming down towards the same height. Let's connect the hips with the curve, coming down and then up. From the center of the body, we're going to step down and add a curve, going up and down. Leaving a gap in the center, let's go to the left side, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the bottom of the shorts. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll round out the bottom of the shorts. Starting on the left, go out, and then bend that up. Let's connect the hips to the outside corner of the shorts with a straight angled line. And then we'll add a trim along the bottom. Stepping up, we're going to follow that same curve coming toward the inside of the leg. Now let's tuck the legs in underneath the shorts. From the bottom corner of the short, we're going to step out, curve the leg going out, and then down towards the heel, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now you want to round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot coming down, and then up. And then we we'll round out the top of the foot. Starting from the outside, curve the toe going up. I'm just going to bend that down to right about there. Let's go to the top of the foot on the left. Curve the shoe going up and out on both sides. I'm going to curve this in and then down. And then come straight down and then out in behind the top of the foot. From the top corner of the shoe tongue, let's step down, curve down and up towards the inside of the leg. Now we close off the outside of the leg. From the outside corner of the shorts, let's step in, curve the leg going out and then down. Let's add a little bit more detail to the legs. From the top of the leg, we're going to step down, add that same curve, coming down and then in, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's leave a small gap, step down, draw that again. Now to move back down and add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. Let's take this curve, step up, and just trace that across towards the heel. Let's add a trim along the top of the foot, starting from the inside, put this out and then down. Now with the body in place, let's move back up and draw on the left arm. We start from the top of the body, curve out, and then down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we'll draw a small half circle, coming in and then out for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Let's add in the fingers. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, curve this down and up around that bracket. Step down, curve out and up. And then the third finger will start on the side, pull this out, pull this up, and then in behind the side of the head. And then to finish off the left arm, we're going to add the armband. Starting from the top of the wrist, pull this up, and then out. From the top of the arm, we'll step down, pull up, and out. Let's draw a character holding a basketball over on the right side. So we're going to draw a large circle, starting from the very top, go all the way around, towards the bottom and bring that back up towards the top. Let's add those lines. Starting from the top, draw a straight line coming down. And then on the left side, draw a straight line going across towards the right. And then we'll add two curves along the side. Start from the top left, curve this in towards the middle, 
bring it back in. And the same thing on the right. Let's draw the arm coming down in behind the ball. We're gonna start from the side of the beard, put this down and then out. I'm gonna line up the top of the arm from the left side, put this down and out. Let's go to the right side of the ball, draw a half circle for the thumb, and then we'll move down and draw three more fingers along the bottom. Starting with the first finger, draw one half circle, the second one, and then the third, and that's pretty much it. There's cartoon LeBron James from Space Jam 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.